New at six, a Jonesboro police officer says he's being retaliated against by the mayor. He tells Channel 2 he was fired after speaking with us about his involvement in an independent investigation into the mayor. And he spoke exclusively with investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln. She's live in Roswell. And Ashley, you also have the mayor's response to all this. Yeah, Linda, we got both sides of this argument. We spoke with Sergeant Daryl Triplett here at his security business in Roswell. He says this is an example of direct retaliation for not only speaking out to the media, but also participating in that investigation. What is that putting out to the rest of the employees? That if you go against Donya Sauter, if you say anything against Donya Sauter that she doesn't like, you're going to be terminated. Jonesboro Police Sergeant Daryl Triplett is calling his termination mere retaliation for his involvement in an investigation into Mayor Dania Sauter. I'm duty bound to cooperate with that investigation. I don't have a choice in a matter. The termination letter Channel 2 got an exclusive look at claims Triplett violated the city and police department's policy by speaking with the news media and publicly criticizing the agency's policies. It's in our policy, in Jonesboro City policy, that we have a, we, you cannot, um, uh, an employee that testifies cannot be reprised against. In an interview with Channel 2 last month, Triple had said he was suspended for testifying in an independent investigation into allegations of misconduct by Jonesboro Mayor Dania Sauter. She shouldn't have even had a weapon in the city hall, period. Channel 2 reported on the 47-page investigative report in October. One of the allegations involved the mayor having a gun in City Hall and pointing it at a police officer. The GBI confirming with Channel 2 they found no evidence that back accusations that Sarter pointed a gun at a Jonesboro police officer. Hopefully that um, I'll just be able to mayor <laughs> at this point. I spoke with the mayor over the phone Tuesday. She denied any form of retaliation. As of now, he is no longer a member of the Jonesboro Police Department. He has the right to due process just like I have the right to due process. Sauter says city council members unlawfully approved the independent investigation, which costs taxpayers around $200,000. And then once the GBI's investigation came out, then if you felt based on their findings, then you could pursue an administrative investigation. And Triple Ed told me he's hired an attorney and plans to sue the city under the state's Whistleblower Act. That is a statute that protects whistleblowers from termination in situations like this. Reporting live tonight in Roswell, Ashley Lincoln, Channel 2 Action News.